Good morning, iClub. We hope you guys had an amazing week. We are so glad you joined us today for another lesson. God looks beyond what everyone else sees on the outside, and He knows who we are. Our thoughts, dreams, what's in our heart, and He loves us. This week, I want us to understand this. God accepts us even when we don't feel like anyone else does. And He loves us too much to leave us unchanged. These are three ways you feel when dealing with rejection. Rejection can leave you feeling paralyzed with more questions than answers. Why don't they like me? What did I do wrong? Should I have said something else? So to keep from being rejected, someone might pull away from everyone else, even those who care about them. When we turn to God during these difficult times, He can give us peace as He mends the broken hearts. All of us feel rejected at one time or another. This is a great opportunity to extend God's love to someone and remind them that they are not alone. Jesus was rejected by his people, religious leaders, and those who mocked his claims and miracles. Jesus never responded with anger, but he does understand what it feels like to have that desire, because he was human like you and me. Because Jesus was able to process how he felt without reacting, we can follow his example and allow it to encourage us to do the same. Jesus also noticed and took time for those around him that were reacting to others out of their pain. He comforted them when they needed it. When someone lashes out at you for apparently no reason, realize they may be hurting. This provides an opportunity to pray for God to help them move past their pain and into his healing. Some people think getting revenge is the best, but God instructs to love and pray for people that hurt us. It isn't our job to serve justice to get revenge. That job belongs to God alone. We can encourage our loved ones that instead of getting even, they ask God to help them understand the mercy he extends to us so that we can extend it to others. It's important to recognize the heart behind all these actions. Instead of being frustrated with the way someone is behaving, you can be caring and extend God's love to them. What we often see displayed are the symptoms of a heart that is hurting. This week, not only look for the ways to show acceptance to those around you, but look for opportunities to encourage those that have been hurt by feeling rejected. I know that feels like a lot to think about, but it's always important to know how to react when feeling these different emotions. Also parents, don't forget that there's a lesson online that you can download with more discussion and activity suggestions. Have a great week!